Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really happy to have you here. In this video, I'm gonna show you what my desk setup at HEC Paris looks like. The desk that I sit at almost the entire day every day. I've always spent a lot of time sitting at a desk. But in 2020, my desk sitting is at another level. Today, I'm attending classes, doing group projects, socializing with friends and family back home, doing assignments, all on Zoom. I also sit at this desk to eat, watch TV and work on other projects in my free time. And today I'm going to show you what my desk looks like, what all is on it, what equipment I use to make my new Zoom life much more comfortable than it would have been otherwise. Before I get started, I also want to mention that recently I revamped my website and I'm also experimenting with creating an email list. So I would urge you to go to my website, scroll all the way to the bottom and sign up to my email list. I promise I won't send you too many emails. It's going to be an infrequent email newsletter that talks about my current inspirations, thoughts and resources. With that out of the way, let's get into the desk setup. Alright, so this is what my desk looks like. Honestly, the studios on the HEC campus are so beautiful. I absolutely adore this huge glass window that I have right in front of the desk. I think it totally uplifts the entire space. The desk itself is also really, really nice. It's really large, lots of space for everything, and the wood matches the wood of the decor and it just all looks super nice. It gives a very pleasant vibe in the room. Let's first talk about the monitor or the display that I use. This is a Dell U2715H. It's a 1440p 27 inch monitor and I absolutely love it. It gives me so much space to work with and it's got really good color accuracy for all of my video and photo work as well. I got it a few months ago off of Le bon Coin, which is basically the Craigslist or the OLX of France. And I was actually able to buy it for 200 euros, which is 150 euros lesser than what I would have bought it for if I had got it new. The keyboard that I use is a Logitech K380. And I've had this particular one for over four years, basically since my third year of college. I also got it really, really cheap back then for like 1,500 rupees, which is basically around 17 euros. But a new one will cost you around 50 euros. It's a nice, simple keyboard. I really like the minimal design and the really small form factor. The keys take a bit to get used to, but once you do, they're pretty nice to type on. I also use an Apple Magic trackpad as a mouse. I absolutely love the experience of using a trackpad on Mac. The, the gestures are super nice and super useful, and I use this tool called Better Touch Tool to make some custom gestures that I use as well. So yeah, a trackpad is completely indispensable for me. I also have a Logitech MX Master Mouse, which I've also had for about four years, but since I bought the trackpad recently, I've kind of stopped using it. Let's not talk about the speakers that are on my desk. I use these Logitech Z533 speakers, which are absolutely wonderful. These Logitech speakers really pleasantly surprised me with their sound quality, especially for the price. I got them for about 60 euros, which I think was a very good deal for what they are. They even come with a subwoofer as well as a volume control knob that sits on my desk. All right, this next bit is probably a bit overkill, but I use an M-Audio producer USB condenser mic for all of my Zoom calls. I've had this mic for over 10 years, back from high school time when I used to record music. And this is the same mic that I've used to record vocals on all the music that I've released online as well. It's funny that it's now got demoted to a Zoom microphone, but I guess that's just how life is sometimes. I'm really glad that it's lasted this long though, because 10 years is not a short period of time. And it definitely takes the audio quality of my Zoom calls up a notch, at least for the others on my call. As for my webcam, which is also super important in Zoom calls, I got this one from Amazon very recently. It's called a Vansview 1080p webcam. It was the cheapest, decent-ish webcam that I could find on Amazon, and it does its job really well. It has a nice wide angle, the microphone is absolutely terrible, but I have this crazy USB mic anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. And it's not the best camera, but it does the job for me, and it was really inexpensive, so yeah, no complaints on that. What do I use to run the entire show? What's my main machine? I use a MacBook Pro 15-inch with Retina display from 2014. It's working completely fine so far, touch wood, and I use it to do everything in my life and I'll probably keep using it till it stops working. Aside from the MacBook, I also have a 2018 iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil that I use for a variety of different things. I used to use it along with the Logitech keyboard to take notes when I used to go to class so that I don't have to carry my huge 15 inch laptop with me. One really great example of how I use the Apple Pencil is to do exercises in my French class on Zoom. So the teacher basically gives us exercises as part of her screen share and I just take like a quick screenshot. It shows up on my iPad immediately through the iCloud integration. I use the pencil to like fill up the exercise really quickly. 
It updates on my iCloud or my Mac almost immediately and then I send it back to the teacher or discuss it with my peers. It makes it super simple. I also use it to watch YouTube videos and Netflix when I'm lying in bed and to read the PDFs that I have for my classes. Let's talk about some of the other knickknacks that I have on my desk. I have a couple of notebooks that are on my desk, but I don't actually end up using them that much because I do literally everything in Notion, which is also another video that I will be making very soon. And I have this Lamy Safari pen, which I absolutely love. I just love how it looks and I love the color and that's why I have it. And I love using fountain pens, even though my favorite pen of choice would be the Muji gel pens, which I have a whole bunch of in this Ikea pot. I also have a wireless charger for my phone so that I can just place my phone on it when I go to bed at night and when I wake up, it's fully charged. I also have these books on the side of my desk, which I literally just placed there because it was looking a bit empty and I think these books look good. And here's this bottle of Brez Cola, that, which I got from Britannia, a western state of France when I visited back in July. And of course, a plant. I also have an Xbox One S that I bought earlier this year, right before confinement, which was honestly a great decision. I don't end up using it so much now since class has started since I don't have that much time but it's still on my desk for whenever I feel like playing some video games. All right, let's now talk about the lighting situation. The lighting situation on any desk is what gives the desk or the space the vibe that it has. And on my desk, the vibe is supplied by two IKEA tertial lamps. The lamps are super inexpensive at 10 euros a piece and they clamp on the desk, meaning that they don't occupy any space on my desk either. I can even swing the lamps to adjust them to light up my desk even more, but I don't end up doing that since I don't actually use any physical books or notebooks anymore. One of them goes behind my monitor to give a bit of backlighting and the other one is aimed at the side of my desk to give a pop of color in the space. There you go guys, this is what my desk looks like at HEC and I'm pretty happy with it especially because I have to spend six to eight hours on it even more every single day. I knew that this year I would be spending a lot of time indoors in my room at my desk and that's why I decided to invest a bit more in making it a little bit nicer than it would have been otherwise. Because I believe that if the space around you is comfortable and pleasant, you're gonna be a lot more productive. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel since I'll be uploading a lot more content just like this. You can also consider following me on Instagram since I post that a bit more often and you can keep up with my life at HEC. I'm also really sorry for not uploading at all in the last three weeks. The marketing program is really hectic and I'm still trying to figure out how I can balance making YouTube videos as well as fulfilling all of my academic and work obligations. But seriously guys, I cannot thank you enough for all the love that you've shown me on YouTube, on Instagram, in the comment sections, in the DMs that you send me. It's absolutely amazing for me to read all of your messages and comments. I really hope you're gonna stick around because there's a lot more coming. Alright, see you guys in the next one.